Yeah, so we are um, cooking and doing the menus for the four autumn internationals, starting today with the South Africa game, which is something that's very, very exciting. Um, here in the Lock restaurants, which are brand new and absolutely stunning and beautiful. Um, but trying to upscale it where we probably do around 60 people every evening. We're doing between 700, 1,000, 1,500 for some matches. So how we scale that up is a big thing, but as long as we get those flavour profiles across, and you know, it's always using the best of British projects. It's beautifully designed. It feels um, functional, it feels well spaced, there's lots of room, but at the same point, it does feel like you're going to have a lovely restaurant experience. But there's the excitement, there's the windows either side, it's very, you know, there's lots of light coming in, and you know that just beyond those windows is that hallowed turf, the amazing Twickenham rugby ground. I was um, brought up in Gloucester and you know if you come from Gloucester there's only two things that, that you're interested in. One of them is um, Gloucester versus Bath and the other one is Bath versus Gloucester. So that's the only thing. I mean rugby is inherent. Is, you know the idea of standing there in the shed as a young kid was amazing wearing the cherry and white shirt and watching heroes play run up and down that pitch in the pouring rain and away trips are amazing. Stuck in a minibus going to South Wales getting beaten up losing really badly, coming back over the border and back to Gloucester. Those are the sorts of memories that I have of playing rugby. You know, the beautiful thing about sport and how amazing it is, is that there's much more to it than just, you know, um, individual winning and being, you know, playing the sport. There's so much more. There's the, the hospitality side, there's the social side, there's the team bonding thing, there's camaraderie, there's mates, there's friendship, there's support. And, you know, that's why, you know, you see today 70, 80,000 people cheering England on. And that's because everybody is part of that, I suppose, sporting community. And that's where, you know, and that comes from an early childhood when you're part of it and growing up and to being it today.